Hello everyone, this is Southern Belle Whisper, and I got my mama here with me today, Mother Love Whispers. Hello everyone. And we are going to do a little story time with you guys. Uh, we are actually going to Charleston tomorrow to uh, Michael Angelo. Charleston, South Carolina. Yes, Charleston, South Carolina. But um, it was my niece's idea at first. But we found it a little ironic because... About 15 years ago, we bought a picture that Southern Bell Whisper saw at a yard sale. Right. And I I saw it. We were driving, we were turning onto our road and I saw it at the yard sale as we were driving past. And we had my grandmother with us and my mom said that the picture is probably going to be like a hundred dollars. You know, there ain't no reason for us to stop. But then grandma was like, no, uh, if it's a lot of money, I'll buy it for her, so just turn back around and we'll go see how much it is. It was beautiful. It was the creation, story of creation. God reaching his hand down to Adam, and uh, it, was, it was framed. It's just beautiful. It's about three foot long by two foot long. I mean, why? And so we got to the yard sale and I asked the lady, I was like, how much is that Michelangelo painting? And she was like, I'll sell it to you for $10. Yeah, thankfully, Grandma had just whipped out the cash and uh, got it for Southern Bell Whisper. And we've had it for close to 15 years, isn't it? That was probably one of the best uh, money purchases I've, I've ever purchased <laughs> because it's such a beautiful painting. I'll have to show it to you guys at some point. Um, I, I gave it to my niece because when she told us she wanted to go to the exhibit, I went ahead and gave it to her and she put it up in her room. Well, I didn't know that you gave it to her. I, I thought we just decided to put it in her room. Well. You know, but it's staying in the room. Yeah. Uh, Mother Love Whispers telling you right now. <laughs> I love her and everything, but that picture means a lot. It's very and special to us. Mama's getting older, and it's one of the, th one of the memories I love. I know. But we are so excited um, about this trip. Uh, we haven't gotten out of town ever since COVID started. And uh, we've had cabin fever in the worst way. Yeah. And um, we were a little worried about the, the money, you know, aspect of it. It really wasn't that bad. It wasn't. Um, they don't charge that much, so. And then, you know, the um, motel is the main thing, but um, it's going to be a great trip, the three girls, and, you know, we're going to enjoy ourselves. Make sure that there's an olive garden nearby. Yeah, that, that's what my niece said. She was like, well, since uh, Michelangelo was Italian, we need to find an olive garden somewhere so we can stay with the theme of, which I love olive garden though. Yeah, we're all excited about it. Unlimited breadsticks. Oh, please. And soup. It's too late. To and chicken alfredo. Stop. Oh, it. so good. Stop. <laughs> but I just, I really treasure uh, moments with my my mama and my niece like like this uh, 
we have so many fond uh, memories of that I'll hold dear to my heart forever. Tell oh, them, yeah. let's tell them about the time with the with the money. I think they'd like to hear oh, about yeah. that too. Yeah, I was doing some uh, cleaning one day uh, up in the attic, and uh, and I was ten years old. Right. I was ten years old. Southern Bell Whisper was uh, kind of just watching, you know, as I went through a bunch of clothes and stuff like that. And I was checking the pockets uh, for some reason of the coats that I, and thankfully, because I found ten dollars. And that was back in the day when... Uh, my father was an alcoholic. Uh, I actually think we found the ten dollars in the jacket that he got beat up in. <laughs> oh got, yeah, that's another story. He got drunk one night and got beat up by his best friend. <laughs> that was his best friend. And his best friend ended up becoming a police officer. <laughs> How I ironic is that? Oh, I know. Oh, but anyways, we found the ten dollars. And at first my mom was like, Oh, we should probably give it to your father, but I was like, no, mom, he won't know about this $10. I'm not that stupid. I didn't say that. I'm pretty sure you did. Oh, you were That's just afraid I would. Well. <laughs> Either way, yeah. there we went just sailing down the road. And I, I was like, I said, we are going to take this $10 and we are going to go down to the movie theater. At that time, it was called the Millwall Theater. It was at Withville, Virginia, and it was only a dollar to go see a movie. Mm -hmm. And we went to go see Sweet Home Alabama with Reese Witherspoon and Josh Lucas and Patrick Dempsey, and we had the best time ever. We did. That was such a good movie. And I got that giant thing of popcorn. Yeah. You could refill it. Mm -hmm. And it was a, so nice. a large drink that we shared. You're making me hungry. I'm sorry. It's okay. I didn't mean to. But that was a, that was a great though. memory. That was a good memory. Very good. And then yeah. uh, we we share so many good nice. memories together. I, I know. Oh, uh, 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 let's yeah. see. I want this video to be a little bit longer, so I'm trying okay. to think of other. Well, let's just think of, of some. Oh, um, what about the guidepost? My search. Oh, that was wonderful. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh. The thing is, uh, we were getting ready to take Kelly, I mean, Southern Bell Whisper, to, you know my real name. It's okay, right. to oh, the um, MUSC for a surgery. And she was very apprehensive. And, uh, of course, I was going with her. And I stopped in at my doctor's office to pick up a prescription before I left. And I noticed that she had put out some guideposts, which are these little small um, booklets, and they have miracles in them of everyday people, you know, uh, writing stories about things that have happened to them. And uh, go ahead. And the guidepost had a um, a story about, um, they did an interview with the actor, uh, oh my god, what was I his can't name? remember his name, was it Jim something? No, it wasn't Jim. Well, uh, it doesn't matter, he was wonderful. Yeah, it was the guy that was in the shack in Avatar, if you haven't seen the shack, he was in Avatar, and I can't believe I can't remember his That's name. That's okay. Okay, anyway, it's going to drive me nuts, but, um. It was just an interview they had did with him after he did the shack mm -hmm. and he was just talking about all the uh, weird things that happened on the set like uh, like religious uh, things he said he wasn't even a Christian when he did this movie but that after he did it that there was no doubt in his mind that uh, things that happened on the set was something from God mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. And um, while we were on our way, uh, it was about a one and a half hour trip from here. 
um, to Charleston, South Carolina, and uh, uh, the uh, medical center there. And uh, on the way, I just took that booklet out. I wouldn't think anything about it. I just, I thought, well, we'll pass the time, you know, uh, I'll read her a story. And I usually hate when she reads to me while I'm driving. Mm -hmm. It gives me a headache, but, but this the, time it calmed me. But go ahead. Yeah, so I read, I read two or three stories to her, and that was one of them. So we get to the motel and we were going to go to her surgery first thing in the morning so it, and I was very nervous because when I was 13 um, I, I've had four tonsillectomies in my life I think I've told you about this in recent videos um, but I was scared because when I was 13 um, I had a tonsillectomy that put me into a drug-induced coma, um, so I was very, very nervous. She was on a ventilator for a week. Yeah, I was on a ventilator for a week, so, and I was very nervous. I couldn't sleep. Me and my mom both couldn't sleep. It was about 10 p.m. Yeah, around 10 p.m. We hadn't watched any TV or anything. We just kind of um, drove around and found the place. And, and then we went back to the room and kind of talked to each other. And, um, you know, we just really hadn't looked into it. But I noticed that they had HBO. And no sooner did I turn the TV on, but... Guess what movie was on? The shack and it had just started and we watched the whole movie and it was like a sign from God for me mm -hmm. it gave me goosebumps it gives me goosebumps right now just thinking about mm -hmm. it because it was like God's way of telling me that everything was going to be okay yeah. yeah and of course the surgery went smoothly and I haven't had any problems with my tonsils since then, which is uh, great. It's a blessing. Great. It is. Now, now uh, so that was a good one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of a... You a, could tell me about when you uh, would uh, play with the boys. Y'all would do your little shows. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can tell them why my name's Mother Love. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember the show back in the day called, um, oh my gosh. Mother Love. Yeah, Mother Forgive Love. Forgive or Forget. Forgive or Forget. It was back in the 90s, if y'all don't remember. But uh, we used to do, me and my brothers Gabriel and Grant used to do skits together. And my mom would call herself Mother Love. And we would do skits where we'd be like, are they going to be at the door? Did, did they forgive me? You know, and, and we would record each other. I wish we could find those tapes. Yeah, that was wonderful. I, I, that was wonderful. It was. Oh, man. What about the time I, I wore the red dress to, <laughs> to school? To school. Oh, my gosh. Oh, pride goes before a fall. Oh, my gosh. I almost told you that. So, I just thought I was hot stuff. I had a crush on on uh, this blonde-headed, blue-eyed boy. He was boy. a cute little boy. Yeah, too bad he ended up gay. I, I was in love with him for four you turned years. Him gay. Shut up. I was in love with this boy for four years. Oh, but anyways, man. I wore the dress, and I wore my high heel black boots, and I just thought I was hot stuff. And I was in class one day, and me <laughs> and my, me and my best me and my best friend had had a fight. I don't know what it was over, but I was like, well, I'm just going to go tell the teacher on you. And I jumped up and I tripped over my book bag strap and I went flying 
and I knocked over a desk and I fell so hard uh, on another person's desk <laughs> and my crush saw my underwear <laughs> like when I fell when I fell my dress went up and he saw my underwear that, that was so embarrassing but when I told my mom she laughed oh god I would have loved to have been she, there she laughed <laughs> what was so funny was from what she told me oh my at the desk that she knocked over, she was. Oh my God! I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to pick it back up, and I was shaking so hard that I dropped it again. <laughs> and my teacher was like, "You okay there, Kelly?" Oh no! Oh. And then I went up to the, the teacher, and I was like, "I think I need to go to the nurse because I kind of, knocked myself out a little bit." And she was like, "Um, what's the reason you need to go to the nurse? Like, did you just not witness what just happened?" <laughs> And what was really great about Adam was that he acted like he didn't see any of it. Yeah, that was, that was, was really cool of him. That was a great thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, when I came back into class, he was like, are you okay? Mm -hmm. You know, and I was like, well, I, I guess you know now that I have a crush on you. Mm -hmm. We had mm -hmm. some good times, me and Adam did. He was, oh, yeah. he was my best friend through, through middle school. I had two best friends, Adam and, and Missy were their mm -hmm. names, and uh, Mariah. I had a yeah. few best friends. It was hard because you stayed sick and. And I know. got made fun of a lot. Well, uh, you know, I was kids bullied a lot. Kids. They did. But. Uh, just so many great memories that you know hold dear to my heart forever and uh but I, i'm sorry if y'all can hear those fireworks good god almighty yeah but um we're so excited for our trip tomorrow yeah. and hopefully maybe they'll they'll let me make a video inside the place so y'all can see the exhibit y'all be reading about this in the paper Oh, yeah. About her being took off to the, to the, uh, the popo. <laughs> Local girl, uh, says, mm -hmm. ASMR, ASMR, I need to do this for ASMR, excuse <laughs> me, what is that? But, uh, but. Y'all be praying for us. Yes, uh, it is, a uh, gonna be an hour trip. But we're so excited. My, mm -hmm. my niece got, like, one of those cutlery boards and we're going to make like a, a board that has like the salami and the cheese and the you know fruit and stuff mm -hmm. uh, I know soft ASMR did a, a, cutley, a cutlery board um, video. a video and oh gosh I love that video I don't think I've shown my mom that that video yet she's my favorite soft ASMR she's my favorite um, but uh out that we want to make more videos together so when I visit I'll try to make more videos yeah, with her we might include Selena tomorrow yeah that'd be great um, when we're at the hotel I'll, I'll, uh, yeah. I'll at least show you we'll some pictures um, mm -hmm. I'm supposed to get my hair dyed tomorrow I got my eyebrows threaded today and I'm supposed to dye my hair tomorrow which will be nice Mm -hmm. um, but that is it for now I just thought you guys would like to hear some of our favorite stories God bless y'all alright I hope you guys have a good night toodaloo